Okay, unfortunately I had to restart, not restart necessarily, I, I died, <laughs> so I'm back at the start. Um, and really quick, I had to run through all that really, actually now that I think about it, I am going to quick save here. I had to run through the beginning conversations, like the cutscenes. Um, and for one thing, I'm surprised nobody noticed us, like Gortash didn't notice us. I also was not expecting him to look like that. Like Gortash, I guess I kind of pictured like a, like a, like a, from like the description, I kind of pictured like a, like a, like a pawn shop broker, like the stereotypical image of a pawn shop broker, like someone who like takes advantage of other people who like, you know, um, like in like, you know, stories or whatever, where they've got like, you know, like a pot belly and they look unwashed and unkempt, you know, and like that's the, you know, the stereotype of, of like a pawn shop broker or something. But like, it, I guess it makes more sense for him to look this charismatic, although I can't take him seriously. He looks like a cross between like the Sandman and like a punk rock boy band. Or not even a boy, it's a punk rock band, not a boy band. Punk rock band guy who's like, too old now, at too old I say in air quotes, but like, you know, like has aged, I guess, <laughs> which is, you know, what happens to all of us mere mortals, but like, like, I don't know, like, he just <laughs> looks like the Sandman who joined like Green Day and like freaking is now like not the same like young hip punk, he's like one of the older punks, you know, but like the one who's kind of aged out of it, like there are some that age very well. And then there are some that kind of age out of it and they're like trying to like, you know, still be like, yeah, we're young and hip. And it's like, nah, I mean, you're in your forties and like, you can have all the cool things that you want to, you can be cool, but you're just not a young hip punk anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that anyway, very convoluted. That's what I was picturing. Also, I managed to check my journal entry really quick. Um, cause it said updates, so I managed to hit J really fast, and it did say that Duke Raven Guard was taken. He's been infected and taken, and I do wonder if I'd gotten here sooner, if, like, he wouldn't be infected. Um, but potentially the tieflings would be dead, you know? Um, something like that. I'm sure there's some way where you can get it where Duke Raven Guard isn't infected. Or maybe that's a huge plot point that you, ha that you have to keep, you know? I don't know. But, what else? Yeah. So, Gortash. But it makes sense, right, for Gortash to not be that, like, stereotypical sleazy-looking guy because he's he's apparently got a lot of people to trust him, you know? Carlac included, you know? Where it's like, he's a, he's apparently supposed to be a hero for the next fight, for this fight that's coming up, you know, with, with Baldur's Gate. And, like, he's... I wonder... I wonder if he's actually the wizard who put out the request for night song mm, that i wonder if that's what it is too because maybe he wanted to get the weakness of kethrick you know um yeah i bet you that's what it is but um anyway it makes more sense for him to be more charismatic and charming but i don't really trust him simply because he looks kind of like like I said, the, the Sandman, aged out, aged out Green Day guy. Like, I don't know, he looks try-hardy. He looks try-hardy. Not that the Sandman guy is bad looking or sleazy or any, or like, I don't know. The Sandman guy looks interesting. He's a, an interesting face. Um, and, and it's not bad, it's just unique. And uh, this guy kind of feels like that. Anyway, that's enough of that. It's enough friggin', is there any, can I actually? I can, okay, so we have, yes, we saw the Gortash, Carla would talk to see him here, um, I did see Rescue the Grand Duke, he was infected with an Illithid Tadpole, taken to Baldur's Gate, um, also, I'm surprised nobody heard us, because freaking Carla's like, Gortash, and then freaking Whale is like, dead, I'm like, this all should have been stuff that got yelled at, she must have found a way Maybe she's still somewhere in the Mind Flayer colony, but maybe she found a way back out of this accursed place. Hmm. Now, I am fighting Kethrick. There was nowhere else to go, though, I don't think. She may have made a deal already to get out. I may have, I may have missed her, you know? Uh, anyway. Ooh, that's a pretty... I never noticed the symbol for... The waypoints. Uh, Grand Duke, he's been transported to Baldur's Gate along with an enormous elder. The elder brain's going too? Sick. Uh. Ha ha! 
Okay, yes, seek another means of defeating the elder brain in case of death. That's, that's another thing. We found the heart of the absolute in the bowels of Moonrise Towers, a powerful elder brain controlled by Netherese crown of incredible. That, okay, that's the crown on it. Okay, okay. I knew they mentioned Netherese crown, and I just assumed I hadn't seen it, but yes, there was a crown on the elder brain. Gale was not close enough to detonate the orb. Freaking good! Although when I get back to camp, he might be like, he might leave me or something. I don't know. But apparently, I'm just worried I'm going to start dropping friends like flies at this point. Like, I, I don't want that. And so I'm, I'm distressed. I'm distressed. But I didn't even think about him being here for this. I keep thinking, like, his thing would be like an Act 3 thing. Apparently not. Apparently you could just blow him up here. <laughs> so, uh, or maybe he could have tried because the Elder Brain would still need to be intact. Um, so I'm glad, freaking, I am glad that I did not go back and spec him as a cleric and bring him. Whoo, baby. And he explained, oh, okay, so that maybe I could have read this after, it, instead of getting the cutscene that I couldn't see. It's unlikely the Tieflings will welcome him back. He'll have to forge his own path now. I hope he's all right. That was taken out of my hands. I could have maybe convinced him to go back to the Tieflings, which I think would have been better but apparently I, this is just out of my hands. Anyway, I'm going to do the same thing I did that worked really well before. Oh, no, and I'm going to turn him into a birdie. And have him roll on over there. Ooh! That was, I mean, it was kind of blocked by the friggin' bar, but that was Pillar of Fire! Or flame strike. It was calls a pillar of fire that descends like the wrath of affronted angels. I'm like, yeah, buddy, it does. <laughs> so we're already off on a decent start. Uh, I think I'll just have him attempt. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have him attempt to go off to the right. Uh, it did work. I was able to get uh, Halson to get her undone, obviously. I'm actually trying to have... I don't want to stand next to him. I want to do it ranged only. So I'm attempting to have Carla jump up over here to get these guys. I don't know if she can make the jump from here, but she might be able to make it from over here. I just don't want her to be too close. Uh, and I'm also kind of wanting... Well, I was leaving myself down here by Will in case this guy went over here. Holy cow! I think she took all that damage. 46. Wait. Did it? It, it took her out. Your attack, soldiers. Is she dead dead or no? I can I can still help her? Uh, that's, uh, that's wild. I'm just gonna... <laughs> ah! Kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. I hope Merkel gets to stab him in the back. Or not Merkel. Sorry, Night Song. I just realized I've been muted. I've been muted, I'm so angry! When he said, you can't kill me, I was like, I bet you she can! But apparently... I feel like we should be going. Run. I think we should. Oh no. This is Mass Effect 2. <laughs> oh, is this where they got the big skull? Oh, 
This is sick. I want that. I want that weapon. Maybe I don't actually. Maybe I don't want a Merkle weapon. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Another god? I keep encountering them. Oh yeah, that's gonna do anything. Well, fuck. Yeah. What? <laughs> No! No! I have to actually fight a god! Uh, <laughs> my head is in my hands right now. Listen, I didn't have to deal with this with Lazelle's god. Look at those bones he's got! <laughs> Oozing up. Oh, how does it help? <laughs> And we all, I mean, we didn't take two terrible hits, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna F save. I'm gonna F save that. Uh, can we even, can we hit him? Wait, where is everybody else? Oh yeah, she's the only one, actually no, we are, get her off, down, 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 down. Um. Got it. Oh wait. Yeah, oh no, just go anyway. Go, 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 go. Um. What I want is she has, she does have this, but she can't use it right now. We're gonna go ahead and take one of those for what little good it'll do us. Uh, yeah, I would rather be over here. Uh, let's freaking change we can't change ah, we're out of that what no can't I can't I like expend a slot like a spell slot or something uh, <laughs> don't we have banish somewhere I, saw, I swear somebody had a banish like a planar banishment um She's still. Ooh, actually, she's uh, she's still. Maybe if I knock her out. Ooh. Well, if, if I like attack her, get her. Her health down. And she can bring herself back. Okay. Hopefully, she can bring herself back. She is still kind of like, yeah. I might actually have him. I mean, this guy can still teleport over. But for now, I'll keep housing up here. For whatever good it'll do us. Can I? <laughs> yeah, nope. See if I can throw throw him or this guy. It'll at least make it so it doesn't have high ground advantage anymore. Dead sounds bad. I knew frightened was gonna be a thing. I knew it. Call it a damned. I'm gonna do a hellish rebuke. I did a little bit. Not much. This is. I have no idea. Um, yeah, she's friendly again. I figured if I knocked her out and undid it, she'd be friendly. Apostle of Miracle, a visage of the dead god. Okay, so he's not like 100% the god. Ah, oh, no, can use a reaction to create, consume a sacrificial necronite and gain the reaper's reward. That sounds unpleasant. 
divine health. Hmm, no diseases for you. Fey ancestry. Hmm. <laughs> Plus five bonus saving throws against spells that would remove it from this plane. I could try to planar something. Uh, it's got divine smite. That's not fair. Can I tar invalid target? This skeleton has been, like, <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you wear a face. Oh, I was like, what? But I, I have, I gave myself immunity to Frightened. Ooh, okay, so maybe we shouldn't be standing close to it. Oh, but you did bring people close I'm actually I'm gonna see if Carlac Carla can't she's frightened I don't have any like AOE healing yeah I will use this to keep Carlac alive and oh I thought I could bring him back I can't Oh, he dead dead? Okay, well, I have... Who, Carlac has a scroll? Okay. I think we should be able to bring her back with a scroll. The only damage I'm doing to it is the rebuke. My smites will break... Oh, okay, divine smite will Okay. I was like, what? Are you judging me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking lose it. I'm gonna freaking lose it. Girl, you need to wake up. And she still can't do anything because she's... Oh, casting spells is blocked, so I can't even do a scroll, scroll of revivify. She's got two health, that's cool. Oh well. Alright, we're just gonna... She's gonna do her best to hit it as hard as she can. But she will hopefully heal when she does take damage, so there's that. I am upset. I wish the Cambrian was up higher. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it took a second. All right, well, we're doing something. <laughs> Why did Carlac take damage? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, we did have fly. I'm just can't see. I'm blind. One life to my life. Me. Now let's rebuke again. We're so close. Wait, did he just like? No, Carlac's still okay. She just fell. Okay. I have no more spells. Uh, no more smites for me. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, a critical hit, and it's in the butterflies. Please. Oh my gosh, please. It's got three health. Please. Why aren't you waking up, girly pop? We are solo all of us could very easily just keel over right now Ugh. i'm like i'm like frantically looking at everything i'm like oh my gosh all right carlac darlin you who i gave this awesome thing to Poor fucker. oh i'm gonna scream please yes 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 i did it Oh, before it consumes any net I'm just rolling in achievements without even meaning to, honestly. I keep doing that. Maybe I'm not so bad at the game. Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. Now you were merely a minion. My lord. Hear me. And the gods are fickle, my guy. I 
I am forsaken. Oh, because Karlak did the final blow. You, you have no idea what you've done. <laughs> Isabel. Did he even get to see her? Like, she obviously had retained enough will to go off on her own. Yeah, no thanks to you. The rats. Together, we have him. Yeah. And body. Uh, yeah, you should. Oh. That's not very ASMR of you. Oh, but she's very cool, though. No. No. We pick our way toward our fates. Unleashed. Does she know Isabel's alive? You have my sword. My fealty. Ooh. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. Our fiery... Of I haven't expected that. Oh, Gortash. Ketherick's netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. Okay, just hold on a second. Uh... If Mole doesn't turn up in Moonrise Towers, she may have escaped on one of them and made it to the city. Oh, was she was I supposed to find her in here? <laughs> Yikes. The kids are going to be so mad at me. Carlac will have strong feelings about this. Yes. The Grand Duke. Yeah, he is being transported. Yeah, okay, we I already looked at some of those earlier, but then I had to do that reload essentially. I've got a long road ahead. Uh actually let's Don't burn yourself. Um still alive. I so think that's progress. I guess I'll use the scroll. I don't wanna leave him. Feels Excellent. weird to leave him here. Yeah, we all are feeling pretty tired, all but well buck, bucky boy. Not as bad as it could have. Uh, let's see, who's got one health? Give him a little bit, and we'll give Karlak a little bit. Okay. I mean, I'll get these spells back, so I'm not, like, too fussed about it, you know? Um, but just in case there's anything around that, like, gets us in trouble, like, I don't want, like, like that, that, that deals damage, I don't want that to hurt us. Okay, well, where is Catherick? What's in here? Oh, I'm, thanks. It's a quest item and I'm encumbered from it. Was it embedded in him? <laughs> in death, the body is cooling. But energy radiates. From the stone. Netherese is bad. 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 Oh! Remarkable. What? Truth. She's in the real world! And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against I mean, we knew that from what we the read. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Truly, um, uh, I mean, I think I, I would like to ask that, but I feel like that's pretty basic. These stones are obviously something that controls an elder brain, but that I feel like that's the more pertinent question. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to ask about a cure anymore until somebody just hands me one at this point. Uh, do you know who our animates are? I know she won't, she wouldn't tell me earlier, so I doubt she'll tell me anymore. And his was, this was because he was the god's chosen, and the god, the god gave him a second life for a bit, and then was like, oh, never mind. So, what are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. 
the that sucks. Nethery's magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. A crown that has you and controlled. This must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Uh, why does she? She sounds. She sort of sounds sympathetic to the brain, at least a little bit. Like, ooh, that it would be controlled by mere mortals and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, mm, lady, I'm starting to question some things. Um, also, like, I, I'm kind of surprised that she has a physical form. I thought she just was, like, in my brain, and now she's real, and I'm like, whoa. Uh, also, to have a crown, that's very poetic in a way, right? To have a crown whose sole purpose is to, like, have you be controlled, right? Like, there are, like, it's that puppet king sort of a thing, you know, where it's, that just feels very poetic and very, like, Oh, like you think you have the power, right? But in truth, you are being controlled. And this thing, this the symbol of power in truth is the symbol of your subjugation, you know? Oh my gosh, poetic. Okay, do you know who our enemies are now? Will you tell me? One of them I know, Lord Oh, Ember these Gordash, guys, okay. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. Also, the interesting a mystery to me, that those three... But the way she spoke... It is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. She's got spooky. Was a follower of murder, spooky skin. Which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death. Yes. And our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Like, what are those gods up to, right? Like, I, I think I was thinking of that when when they first, like, did it. But there's a lot going on and I always forget as things go on. Like, I forget to say anything. But, like... It was interesting to me that each one didn't, they didn't claim it for themselves. Like, they didn't say, in my name, be subdued. They are doing it in the name of their gods, their various gods. And it is the three that are associated with death, murder, strife. You know, those things that was split from the original god who had those powers. And these three were mortal men who were given these powers, right? Uh, given these divine essences essentially to become these deities um so once again we have mortals striving and de deities but like sort of half deities that are attempting to maybe reach beyond their limitations um i didn't come here to fight gods um what hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved this is something i think a paladin would say even an oathbreaker one where it's like the power is feels insurmountable Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching that on Baldur's Gate. did not gate. answer my question. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. All of that has to happen in Act Two. Our chances or three? of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Why can't I destroy the brain too? She's not like. She's, she's like, well, I have to take control of it. I'm like, who are you, a Starian? Like, oh, that's going to be a sad one. Catherine's Warhammer, Catherine's Shield. Ooh, the armor. Howl of the Dead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me read this first. Oh, I love you. Love from Isabel. Uh, like, I know why he did it, right? It's just super mega ultra tragic. I know why he did everything he did, but... These boots have seen everything. These boots, I always want to say these boots are made for walking. Also, the Cambrian's still here. Maybe we can dismiss it? The pride of the gate. Or maybe we can go to the Cambrian to, to dismiss it? Yes. Go away. Dismiss it, didn't I? Oh, okay, I was like... Let's get going. My skeleton, true champion, by the way. Like, honestly. 
did a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Um, I'm not too worried about that stuff. Portal of the Service. I did see earlier some this well. stuff down here. You know, things labeled invasion plans. Just, just. I think it is something that that people would do, but it is still always funny. Dictated, described Yenthus by Enverco attached the grand design of the Mind Flayer species' wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass metamorphosis, giving the outer brain an overall command. An implacable army of illithid slave warriors with which to defeat their all their old enemies, human and humanoid, get the Yankee and Ulithari. Who's the who's the Ulithari? I thought I was gonna say that the other group of Gith Yankee, but it didn't. Of course, it's just delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale. You would know you're a megalomaniac. And I know just how to turn it to our purposes. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only when it suits us. The Illithids shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves, and we shall determine how, when, and where of their great Illithid outbreak. outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortash, will determine these things, as commanding the grand design is clearly a Bainite task, is it now? Seems simple enough. Severed heads, of course. Uh huh. Invitation to Lord Gortesh. Lord Gortesh, the Committee of Concerned Patriots would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans for and long term for the economic livelihood of the Baldur's Gate. Tuesday, Tuesday, the 12th. I, like, yeah, like the second day. <laughs> at noon, a luncheon will be served. May we presume your attendance. Interesting. Is this a sign of corruption? Because why would just a... Because he's not actually a lord, as far as I know. He's just... He's a merchant, essentially. Or he's a, he's a money man. He's a businessman who's actually, like, a slaver. Um, and usually those people aren't invited into doing, you know, governmental things as long as, you know, the government isn't corrupt. But... <laughs> We'll see how that goes. I do... Okay, I'm gonna go jump up to this illithid and look at it. Amulet or they have? Hold on. I missed that. We go in underwears. Do I... I might already have this. An amulet of the absolute. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Not interested. I keep picking up cool stuff. I need to figure out what to do with all this cool stuff. And I really like my thing, but my shield is so heavy and I... The eye patch, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of ways to like... Limit what I'm carrying. Do we want to give this to Carla? Maybe she's a Warhammery type person. Underneath this book concerning the cult of the absolute and the dangers it presents, it scrawled this response in the text. This hastily written drivel is, admittedly, well intentioned. Its author is clearly fizzing with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of the one eyed Venka the Lich, the proliferation of necromantic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from Chult. This person needs a glass of water and a lie down. I assume these were both from uh, Gortash. Interesting. I, that would be something I would see somebody like Gortash, who's very assured of himself, it seems, um, would like read a treatise on why the cult of the absolute is terrible with like a gla wine, like a glass of wine, and like being like, ha 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 ha, you freaking, you know nothing. It's worse than even you could imagine. Blah, blah, blah. You're like, okay. All right. Let's actually have Carlat go hop on over. Let's go. Let's go. We'll grab the illithid loot, and then we'll go. Well, I'm incredibly proud of us, honestly. We did pretty good. I think I only had to redo that fight with Kethrick once, because we got pretty wrecked in the beginning. But then I think with Merkel, the aspect of Merkel, we didn't have, we didn't die once to that. So definitely improving. Um, I am gonna go ahead and hopefully call it here. I, this, there's like this, this is like a three-hour episode of things that happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here and hope this this works out. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching. 
And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Aquin tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.